Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, and welcome back to more Parizno. I'm Liz. Last time we took on our second tournament, we won it. Uh, it was a little bit sketchier than the first one, but we did uh, we did learn some new things. We learned that shield blocking is definitely, or shield bashing rather, is definitely a thing in this mod. Um, and we're building up our wealth, and we're going to use that wealth to buy enterprises in the very near future. But I think I'm going to continue this this sort of trend of uh, traveling the land and learning new things and going to a tournament here and there. And to that end, let's take a look at the arena and talk to the tournament master. You really could do for some heraldry, since I'm sure that that is heraldic uh, armor that you're wearing there, sir. There are tournaments nearby. Uh, Vinica, Murdenhol, Amarna, Velenaz, Soot, Grun, and Grozny. Okay. So Grun and Grozny, where are those? Are those anywhere nearby? Doesn't look like it. They look. They sound like they'd be over here, maybe. Okay, so that is Villanaz, Soot, Grozny, and Grund are like right next to each other up here on the Valahir clan. Okay, so we're not going to those ones, I don't think. Um, well, that's kind of crappy. And Marna had a tournament. That's pretty far away, but I mean, we could go down in the Empire. You want to go to the Empire and see what the bandits look like in the Empire? Let's head to Vinica on the way. Wait, was Vinica one of them too? I don't remember. But let's head to Vinica on the way specifically because I want to see the mer- Oh, we got ambushed by Longbowmen. Because I wasn't paying- I, I saw them coming, I saw them turn around and turn into us, but I, uh, I, I, I didn't stop time until they had reached us. We are the Free Brothers. we beat them there's only six of them but my my question here is I didn't have much HP from that last battle but I did wait in town okay I've got a bit of HP these are longbowmen so they're longbowmen our lance is very short giggity uh, but if we can ride through them okay no we can't ride through them with our lance we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bring our sword out and get angular on them and come up like this. Oh my god, the reach on this thing is so pathetic. Nine damage? Are you kidding me? Was that just... We had speed bonus too. Sixteen damage? Okay. No, they're, they're armored. Holy crud, these guys are armored. On the bright side, they are not really hitting us at the moment. Our angular is good. Um, that might... Oh yeah, if I can get them to pull their melee weapons out, that means even less... Uh, even less arrows. Okay, 37. 37. I can I can take 37. If, uh, if we're doing 37... Oh, that's... And 21. If we're doing damage like that, I can kill them. Potentially. Eventually. You know, maybe in... 20 years or so, we'll take out the first one of them. Okay, we got the first one of them. Can I retreat? Can I, can I retreat? Yes. No. I can't. Damn it! <laughs> okay. Charge the enemy again. We don't have very much HP. Uh, N for health. There's first aid in this, right? Yes, there is. Can I retreat? And then charge? And first aid? And then retreat? And then charge? And first aid? And then retreat? And then charge? And then first aid? And then retreat? And then charge? And then first aid. Yes, I can. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We've cheesed the game. But we've spent some time getting ourselves back up to full health. Is what we've done. So we can really, really hammer that first aid if we get the like intelligence. Basically, is what it's going to take to do it. Um, that might be a bit of a problem, but uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe we can make it happen. Nope. 
did get our lance down in time. Oh, I, I, I can't lance longbowmen though, because you have to drop your shield in order to couch lance. You have to drop your shield to attack at all, but you have to drop your shield in order to couch lance. And you need to basically go straight at a person in order to lance them, right? Yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. I don't think this is going to work very well. But lances! We received five. Yeah, yeah. See, somebody's going to lance you and you've got a bow. All you need to do is shoot them. And then they can't lance you. So what we need to do here is kill. I killed one last time. If we can kill one this time. Yeah, there we go. Now there's only four left. And since there's only four left, that means that there is 20% less missiles coming at us than there were at the start of this battle. Like the fa this phase of this battle. And if we have to retreat again, we retreat again. Actually, right now, we could probably completely retreat from this battle if we had to. 23 damage. Not enough reach. Let's go and get this guy over here. Shields up. Phasers on full. Oh, I felt like we were going to get hit there. I was pretty sure our shield was going to take a hit there, but it didn't. Oh, good. One-handed weapons are 103. Yeah. With a... Oh, okay, good. I thought he was going to be able to swing. We got a good hit there. We got a kill. We can take these guys out. The more of them we kill, the less attacks they get. Alright, they're down to what, two attacks now? Yeah, we can take them. And one of them is running currently, so he's not even ready to attack. Okay, you attack. Ah, then I swing through and I don't get you. Twenty. Yeah, that... I knew that was coming. I'm jumping there just to make sure they're damaging my horse, not me. Um, although my horse doesn't have that much more HP, and it doesn't have very armor at all. I basically have no armor on my legs either, so... These rocks are a little annoying now. I mean, I've been noticing these rocks this whole battle, but they haven't been that big of a deal. I've just been able to dodge them. But uh, now, I am really noticing them. A lot. And they're extremely annoying. Shields up. Let's get this one with the bow out. Mount receives damage. Of oh my god, why? I did not swing like that. Why? 28 damage. He pulls his sword out. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. One guy left. And he pulled his bow back out. Okay. Alright. Only in Prisno are killing like six longbowmen. Or is killing six longbowmen such a hassle? 33 armor. Well, that's uh, that's definitely a better bassinet. Three is not a longsword. Oh, 100 reach. It's two-handed, one-handed, but that's okay. Well, 34 cut. Okay. Versus 27. Is it... The speed is okay. It's going to be just barely slower. I think the damage might be worse, though. God, these arrows are worth so much. We're, we're going to use this longsword as our primary weapon. Um, we want better than that, though. It's a two-handed, one-handed, which means it's going to take big penalties to its damage. But our short arming sword had garbage damage. Let's, let's face it. Let's get to the city. Uh, we were heading to Vinica. Is it Vinica? Vinica, yeah. And we were going to see if they have a better weapon for us there. Better weapon and better armor, potentially. I've got money. And I am willing to spend the money that I've got on armor and weapons. Ooh, who's this? Outlawed Criminals versus Kingdom of Tolrania Scouts. Tolrania Headhunters. I don't know if those headhunters can win. I don't really want to help them at the moment. I'm a little bit damaged. Hey, there is a tournament here. Well, you know, I guess we're going to do a tournament, guys. Um, normally, I would do the tournament first, but I, I, I was coming here for the market. Okay, Tempered Bastard Night Sword, a 2 slash 1, 50 cut, 107 speed, so it's going to lose a bit of that speed. It's going to be a little slow, but really good reach, and 50 cut, it's going to lose some of that, but it's still going to be significant cut. 
And if we use it as a two-hander, it'll be pretty solid. So this Tempered Bastard Sword is pretty nice. Tempered Regent Sword, cool. Like, see, that's a dedicated two-hander, and this Tempered Bastard Knight Sword does the same damage with two hands. It has a little bit less reach, but that's okay. Uh, Serrated Sword, also two-hand. There's so many two-handers here. Great Sword, two-handed. Arming Sword. Uh, has a little bit better reach than our short arming sword because you know it's a proper arming sword chip sword okay so there, there's some stuff here we can get some heraldic kite shields going on that's pretty cool these pole axes left right and center. I'm, I'm thinking of this tempered bastard knight sword guys it's 20 grand but I am thinking about it I'm not gonna lie uh, let's take a look at the armor merchant as well. So they've got heraldic mail and plate, 57. Okay, that, that's that's not bad, 57 and 27. Heraldic brigandine, 53, 27, and 1 to the head. That looks pretty sweet. It does, it does, it does. This thick decorated red helm, which is pretty nice. But uh, no, it doesn't really match our heraldry all that much. Can you imagine a heraldic helm? Oh, yeah. So these guys obviously like red. Rusty red coat of plates, fancy surcoat with mail. So if we had picked red, we'd be right at home here. Okay, 38 armor greaves, 35. Something in the 40s would be great. Crude cased greaves. I'm really thinking of picking that up. I really am. I need some body armor as well, though. Do we want to buy her? Like, I, I'm, I guarantee you we can find, like, plate armor with 60s and stuff if we hold on to our money. So, no, we're not going to buy that. I am going to spend... Four, I'm going to spend 2,440 on some 30-plus armor greaves here. Because it's not that much of an investment. It's not that big of a commitment in money. And we need better greaves like we need better leg armor uh our legs get hit if we're on our horse fairly consistently okay head back and let's uh, let's go ahead and join the tournament shall we place a bet on ourselves let's go ahead and count telly slicer champion cell swords veteran fighters regular fighters okay cool uh let's uh fight in the next round Okay, so we're on a horse, and our ally was an idiot. I really should have given my ally direct orders to come stay with me, but I didn't, because I was an idiot. And now, I guess I need to, well, at least I'm on a horse, and they're on horses, and this should be relatively easy to dance around them, but, uh... Cool. You managed to kill the red guy. Right, I don't have a shield. Crap. I was I was I was preparing to block and then I'm like, nope, nope, I don't have a shield. I'm I'm about to be taken out. Crap. Okay, well, we, we definitely got eliminated from that tournament. On the bright side we only lost five hundred gold. So I'm not I'm not too put off by that. I'm not too put off by that. We'll have to do better in the future. Ransom broker, we have Adventurous Melanie Comely. Are you a companion? What do you want? Nothing. I can't even talk to her. She just goes, what do you want? Maybe she's a quest character? I don't know. Uh, anything special for you? No, you have no special dialogue. Like I say, I want to talk to all of these individual people and find out if they have any kind of special dialogue because... Uh, it's a thing. Do I want to start maybe investing? What can we do for an enterprise here? Guildmaster, productive enterprise. Oh. They would like to know me a little better. Relations are zero. Guys. Guys. Really. D -d Does that do anything for you? Does that do anything for you? 
That's got to do something for you. Yes, they know and trust us because we bought them beer one time. Um, so no, no, that that that's that's called a bad enterprise. Ale from grain also looks like it's a pretty bad enterprise. Uh, leather from hides, not that impressive. Uh, how about wine from grapes? Seventeen hundred sixty-three. That's getting a little bit better. It's it's very expensive to get into that, but still. Um, oil from olives, 1360. Okay, cool, cool. Tools from iron. Ooh. Okay, 126. No. No, no, no. That, 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 that's not worth it at all. This one. Die from silk, 1600. Not that impressive. Not that impressive at all. Wool doesn't get us that much money either. And flax. Yeah, so I'm not going to buy an Enterprise here because I was getting like 3000 for uh, Velvet in that uh, previous place. Tournament Master. Where are their fights? Murdenhall, Amarna, Grun, Grozny, Soot. I think I'm going to go to Amarna, like I said I was going to do. We, we stopped by here to check out what they had, and that's cool. We got ourselves some new boots, and we got ourselves... Um, what direction do I want to do to get there? Is there a bridge here? There is. Amarna. Is elf territory really bad? Hope not. Hope not. We're going to go into elf territory, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to see what we can find down there. Hopefully we can avoid any kinds of fights we come across. What's our on-land speed right now? 8.8. .8. That's not bad. We're solo, so it's going to be okay. Having like 9 speed when you're solo is even better, but whatever. Whatever. Okay, so uh, big battles being fought, big battles being lost, big battles being won, because every time somebody loses a battle, they also win a battle. So far, so good. Uh, peasant rebels. Something tells me peasant rebels aren't that big of a threat to us. You know what? We're going to start stop in Elsinore as well, as we pass through. And we're going to take a look at the tavern and the marketplace in Elsinore. And I am prepared to drop money. At Ooh. Ooh, Tamaris. You look like a companion. And you look like you might be an elf, in fact. Like, you, you look like you're wearing elf equipment. You are an elven noble, in fact. Yes, very good. <laughs> a small, for a small fee of 50,000 orums, you will join me. Okay. All right. Uh, so, so it's gonna be that kind of mod. Are you the most expensive one, or are you like, you know, not? Uh, a traveler. Looks like it's the exact same as the other ones. Entertainment guildsman. Greetings, friend. Is there anything you need? Who are you? I'm a member of the entertainment guild. Our guildsmen travel around Prisno's taverns and offer services to those who wish us for a price. Okay. Okay, so he entertains your party. Um, no. 2,000. No. There's, there should be an option to say no before that. So he's an entertainment guildsman. He, he, he entertains your party. He gets your morale up. Um, Basically, this uh, character is usually filled by prostitutes in most mods. You, you buy prostitutes for your uh, party, but uh, apparently not in this one. Okay, so nothing special at this bartender. Mystic Merchant again. Uh, do you have new stock? Or are you the same stock that you always had? Do they ever restock? Do Mystic Merchants restock, guys? I don't know. It looks... I thought they had different lances last time, so maybe they do. Bastard sword. I think I would have noticed a bastard sword there last time too. But but the, oh no no they definitely restocked because they did not have a horned skull helmet last time. No they 100% did not have a horned skull helmet last time. Simple giant helm, dwarven scale mail, 58, 24, and two. Prisno pilgrim's clothes, padded armor. Hourglass Gauntlets, Lameller. Hey, Sunny Boots. Hack and Steel Greaves. Pretty sweet. They have something in the 40s? Doesn't look like it. 28. Okay, Decorated Red Helm. That's nice. I'd like to buy, especially as we might get a Lordly one for that price. 
Kettle Sally, very nice. 55 and 2, I mean 65 and 3 is better, but still. Uh, <laughs> 45 and 2 looks looks sharp though. I like it. Ooh, heavy plate armor. I can afford it too. 4, 68 and 36. Nice. Nice. See, that's the kind of armor that we need to be holding out for. That's what I'm talking about. 35,000 for it as well. I mean, if it was crude, we'd be losing a lot of money that we don't need to lose. I'm not going to do this because I need money for entering in tournaments at the moment. I don't want to be at the point where... Ooh, armored Tur. Goat. Foraging and pathfinding. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. It's a goat. You can ride goats as well. I knew about like wolves and dragons and all these things, but you can apparently ride goats as well. I, I kind of want to do this, but uh, I'm going to hold off on it because I don't want to spend all the money I had. If I had like 20 grand more, I would do it. Uh, and we'll go to the marketplace though and take a look at the armor version. Okay. Okay. So this is elf stuff. Fantastic. Looks great. Looks absolutely shiny. And if they're actually like, oh yeah, I would absolutely have gotten these elven greaves. What do they actually look like on me? Not bad. Not bad. We, we have these cracked case greaves though, so... That helmet is upside down, sir, but that's okay. 31 armor for a leather helm, that's not bad. Uh, rider helmet's 37. So their armor seems to be middle of the road, mostly. Lordly green elven helmet for 57 armor. It's lordly, so I mean, it's expensive as hell, but yeah, not bad, not bad at all. This is a battered one, 49 head. Not not too shabby, uh, nothing, you know, super good, but not not bad spirit horses seven riding though or a spirited elven horse so they have armor 22 armor 15 speed 50 not bad maneuverability is there too 43 a little bit worse charge of 25 175 hit points it's an upgrade we could go to a spirited elven horse for example or even a black elven horse yeah we could go to a black elven horse for 3,000 and it would be a decent survivability upgrade over our hunter here and also get us some more speed and charge and similar maneuver and better HP. Do we want an elven horse? I want an elven horse. Might not quite be a crotch rocket but it is an elven horse guys. Probably probably totally not worth it. You're probably all yelling at me like, you're wasting money that you could be buying Enterprise. Oh, I should have checked Enterprises there too. That you could have bought Enterprises with. But whatever. Yeah, whatever. We're riding an elven horse now, guys. Like, do, do, do you understand how epic that is? You know, we just walk into an elven town. We don't even need to, like, you know, grind 30 reputation with them before we can walk in and just buy a horse. Jeez, the Noldar should learn from them. All right, so welcome to Amarna. Uh, and there's a feast going on, so we will partake in this tournament and then uh, go to the feast. Sybil, doesn't look like you have any special dialogue. Traveler, Ransom Broker, Chevalier of Fortune, Michael Enigmatic. Okay, so it's just like that other person that's just like, what do you want? Nothing. Uh, mercenary Tracker. Cool. Who's in here? Targeth the Great Bard. You'll never stop talking. Blah, 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 blah. The Prisnoan Empire. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Kingslayer, that's a legendary weapon, isn't it? To search for the sword, you'll need to find two items, a lyre and a book. It is said that Emperor Thykio's bard wrote the secret of where Kingslayer was hidden in the back of his lyre named the Lyre of Euralis. If this proves untrue, then the book will hold the secret. The book called The Biography of Emperor Thykio has the location of the sword inside. I am certain that the secret to Kingslayer lies inside one of these two items. Where shall I find the liar in the book? Oh, it's easy. Oh, of course. It's, it's easy, easy, easy. Thank you. Fantastic. You must meet an old reclusive hermit. 
why not? Called the unusual hermit. Yeah, at Wild Castle. He knows where the liar is. In the biography of Thykov, I think that priest Kalane can say something about its whereabouts, but alas, I don't know where he lives now. They're going to be very hard to acquire. I, I get the feeling Kingslayer is not, in fact, the greatest sword ugh, of all, but I, I imagine it is probably decent. A blade that never dulls, of course, of course, of course. All right. Well, I will take the quest. Does, does it expire? We should check that. Entertainment Guildsman, of course. Commander Bertsey's. Okay, so you hire... Uh, you, you give Empire mercenaries. You're the Empire faction mercenary person. Do you need help with something? You want to earn a sum of 2,000 orums. You beat these nobles and the money is yours. Uh, no. Not right now. Never mind. Okay, good. Done. Just wanted to get out of that conversation. You ever, you ever have one of those conversations where you just want to get out? Yeah. So we've leveled up a few times, which you've probably been yelling at me to, you know, like, invest your fucking points, dude. So we're going to do it. Let's uh, take a power strike, and let's take iron flesh up to full. We'll pump some one-handed points just to, you know, speed that up a little bit, and we'll hold on to the rest for the time being. Um, I wanted to go to notes. Is there a time? Doesn't look like there's a time limit on this. So good. Excellent. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just, let's just go. Let's go. I mean, we're coming up on a half hour here, but let's go. I don't know what... Uh, this is three teams. So my team on me. Uh, I don't know what the format is. I don't know what the arena looks like. I don't know... Wow, we can actually see out into the street. Interesting. Like, I don't know anything about this one. So we're going to hold our team back. And we're going to let these guys, you know, kill each other a little bit. And then we're going to get in there. This is actually ideal. The other two teams are killing each other. We've got a crossbow. I mean, I could shoot people. But why? When they're going to come in and suicide me just like that? Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. You can charge. That's, that's one way to uh, make certain that your team is probably going to win this tournament unless these guys can clutch it away from us. Unless these guys can steal victory from the jaws of defeat. We're going to win this round. Okay, so let's place a bet on ourselves. Um, four teams of eight fighters each. Yeah, so again, we're just going to stay right here on top of each other. And we're going to take out the blue team. We want to try and get ourselves to two kills if we can, to sort of secure our future in this tournament. But, uh, you never know how easy that's going to be. Okay, we, there, there's at least a force that we can pick up. Okay, I've got red team all around me. Good, good. I'm okay, though. I can continue helping them with my two-hander, then. This is fine. This is fine. There are more enemies out there, and I don't want to get swarmed by people. Hey, blue team. Okay, so that's a red guy. No, that's a green guy on a horse. That's not so good. And there's two yellows. But there's two of us as well, but our guy could die like that. Okay, good, good. So they'll kill each other, or one of them will kill one of them, and then there will only be one left. Or, you know, we do this. And now there's only one of them left. And there's only one of me left as well. He managed to somehow take out my partner right as I took out them. This guy's the guy who took out my partner. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, we both went for the attack there. There we go. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's place a bet. 
500 arms, go ahead. Uh, this is going to be four teams of four fighters each. Great, fight in the next round. And everybody on me again. As we just get throttled. Okay, no, 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 no. Guys, guys, don't. Uh, you dicks. Yeah, you guys shoot. Let me get in here and soften these guys a bit. Okay, there's three reds here. We got numbers on them now, though. We're, we're okay. We got it. We got it. Good. Oh. oh. Dude, dude. I've got a shield. Okay, I've got a shield and javelin. It's javelin. So that, that's kind of lame, but it's okay. And now we just need to, like, list lazily to the left and right, and this guy can't possibly hit us, because this is Mountain Blade, ladies and gentlemen. Whoops. There we go. Nice. That was Sir Kelras. Is there still... Is there... What? Charge. There's still a bad guy. Where? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, we didn't list lazily enough. I should have picked up a horse. But wasn't a problem. Kella the Amazon knocked unconscious. Very good. Uh, four. Four. La, la, la. You're at tier four. Eight participants. Two teams. One fighter each. Okay. So we just go. We just rock it now. Fight in the next round. We're on a horse. And we have a sword and a shield. And they've got a bow. And they, they started like right next to us. Oh, and we missed. Great. Good job, Liz. Good job. And we will double back her. Oh, man. The maneuverability of these train of these uh, tournament horses is not, not, not the best in the world. Not the best in the world. And this tree in the way is also a bit of an issue. So let's actually go around the long way. We'll just double around here. And he'll be coming up uh, right there. With a crossbow out in Oh, come on. My mount received damage. I hit him and my mount received damage, ladies and gentlemen. This is not going so well for me. There we go. <laughs> Sir Naldet knocked unconscious. Fantastic. So there are four participants, two teams, one fighter each. So we're getting a triple one-on-one -on -one at the end here. Which isn't bad for me. I can usually win one-on-ones if I get, you know, not the worst gear setup in the world. Deliver 25 damage and an additional 88 to their horse. That's, uh, that's not bad. I did not mean to do that kind of swing, that's for sure. 89, not quite 90, but hack on Severus. Knocked unconscious. Fantastic. And last round. Fight! They start right next to me again. 43 damage. He parried. And there we go. Spearmaster Hail. We see him a lot. Cool. 19,900 and an additional 2,000. Fantastic. And we can go to the feast now as well. Who are these? Hack on Heavy Footman. Okay, cool. So, this is a feast, which means that there are sisters and daughters here, which is fantastic, although it looks like there's only one, potentially. Uh, the Emperor, it's his feast. We should probably introduce ourselves, because we'll get our two rep for speaking to the host of the feast. At your service, Paramonos? Paramonos? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And Severus, at your service. Finally make... Oh, excellent! You know me. You know my name. Good sir, good sir. Uh, Sayada Yasmin. You must be Lord Radu. I may know more about you. You are sister to Hakon Hirodes. You're here for the feast. Excellent! Excellent! I wish to dedicate my victory to you. Four. Okay. That's good. That's middle of the road. I, I'd, I'd appreciate like eight rep, but you know, that, that's a start. That's definitely a start. I'd like to see what's in this chest, you know, if there's anything. Have we looked at the marketplace here? Uh, I feel like we probably haven't. 
Squire Sword, 87 reach, not that good. Balance Sword, 96 reach, isn't bad, but I've got this Long Sword at the moment. Although, 32 damage, this this sword will do more damage than this Long Sword will, because this is a two-handed slash one-handed. A two-handed one-handed, if I'm going to use a two-handed one-handed, I'd really like the damage to be like in the at least high 40s or 50 would be nice. Lightwood Hacken Pike. Much better Pike than my 128 reach Pike here. Or Lance, rather. Uh, I guess you can't actually use this Pike on horseback because it's a Pike, you know, it kind of needs you to stick it in the ground. Orange Striped Lance 2000, 25 Pierce, which must blah, 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 with much better reach. 20 Pierce versus 25 as well. You know what? We're going to buy ourselves a better lance because I just like to treat myself and the armor merchant what do we have 57 26 but you know we, we saw that full plate that was in the 60s and we know it's attainable 32 32 55 55 I mean that's not bad curved face plates crude purple knights barbata fascinating Fascinating. Ooh, thick black greaves. There we go. 40. So I'm not that impressed by any of this armor because I know we can get better. Maybe if we go to like the, the, the Reich territory, we can get something really crazy. Because like they ride dragons in the Reich, guys. They must have ridiculous armor and stuff. Looks like they've got horses here. And yeah, like some these are like six riding for these guys. Heavy, dark, half cataphract. I just got myself an elven horse. What am I talking about? I just got an elf horse. Let's take a peek at the tower. I've already been here. I've already been here. Okay. Um, cool. All right. Well, tournament master. Where are the tournaments? Murdenhall, Velanaz, Soot, Grund, Grozny, and Fountain Hall. Yeah, you know what? Murdenhall is in Reich territory. Maybe we should go to the Reich, ladies and gents. But that will be a decision for next time. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you again then.